What's up, smart students? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea Seaburn, and today I wanna to talk about how you can find peer-reviewed articles in Google Scholar. Now, let's talk about Google Scholar and peer-reviewed articles before we jump into my computer and I give you the goods. So first things first, what is Google Scholar? Why is Google Scholar important to you as a college student? Well, simply put, Google Scholar, much like its big brother Google, which houses all the world's information, Google Scholar focuses on the world's academic information. It's a search engine, just like Google. Google Scholar is a search engine housing various sources for academic purposes. So what does that mean? Well, if you go on Google Scholar, you can find things like journal articles, both published and unpublished. You can find an academic book, maybe even a conference piece or a court opinion piece. You can find dissertation papers, thesis papers, and of course, those peer reviewed articles. Now, why does a peer review article matter to you as well? Simply put, peer reviewed, which you might also hear called refereed, refers to the steps that this researcher took to publish that article. So I like to say that peer reviewed articles are articles written by experts that are then reviewed by experts. You see, when an article is peer reviewed, that means that before it was published, other experts in that same given field reviewed that piece of work to determine its accuracy, the validity and quality of the research, and to make sure that reasonable conclusions were drawn. This is why peer reviewed articles are important to college students because they are going to be considered the most credible of all credible sources. And because I know that many of you turn to Google Scholar for research and finding credible sources, let me teach you three workarounds to weed out all of the sources so you can specifically find those peer reviewed articles. All right, let's jump into my computer and go. And here we are. Welcome to your personal tutorial. So I have three different methods to show you on Google Scholar and I have them listed from the first thing you should do to your last resort. So let's go ahead and start with a basic search because I want to show you the difference. So let's say your paper is about time management and college students. This is a basic search having done nothing specific yet to Google Scholar and we have all of these options here. Now reading through the titles, let's say I'm interested in this fourth option down. So I click on it and I see that, okay, I have a preview of this article, but I don't have access to the full document. Okay, let's start there. Now, the first tip that I recommend doing for finding those peer reviewed articles is to link your university's library to Google Scholar. And so what you're going to do is this drop down menu on the left hand side of the Google Scholar logo. You want to click that, go into your settings and then click on this right here that says library links. It's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And simply put, you're going to search for the university you're attending here to see if it is coordinated with Google Scholar. So let's say I went to Harvard because I was super, super smart. I'm going to type that in search. And here we go. Harvard University, try Harvard library. That's the name of Harvard University's academic online universe, online library. That was a mouthful. So I'm going to click that, select save. And then now look at the right hand side where there's these PDF options. There is also the try Harvard library. This is telling me that these articles are, can be accessed through my university library. So going back to that fourth article down, I'm going to select my university's option, which will bring you one second to your university login page. Now I can't log in. So you're going to have to follow this all the way through on your own. But the reason this is helpful is because in your university, you can filter out for peer reviewed articles. You can search specifically for them. And so before you do anything else, you want to link your university to Google Scholar. That's method number one. Let's move on to method number two. So let's go back home so we can start over brand new. 
The second method I want to teach you how to do is to utilize Google Scholar's advanced search feature. And so it's not a perfect search for peer reviewed articles, but it's pretty darn close. So again, let's go over to the drop down menu. But this time, instead of going into settings, we're going to select advanced search. Here, we have a few different criteria, filter criteria, in which we can return based on the data we put into these spaces. And so find articles with all of the words, with the exact phrase, with at least one of the words, without the words, and so on. I want you to pay attention to with the exact phrase. And in there, you're going to type in peer reviewed. I suggest leaving out article because not all peer reviewed will say article at the end of peer reviewed articles. But now we're telling Google Scholar that we want to search for sources that have the phrase peer reviewed. Once I've typed peer reviewed in the exact phrase section, I want to think about which keywords that I want to associate with peer reviewed. Let's say I'm doing the same search I was before time management and college students. Excellent. Now I'm going to select search and Google Scholar is going to return articles that have the keywords time management college students and it's going to look for the exact phrase peer reviewed. So as you can see here, we have time management college students peer reviewed academic journals going down the line. She has published several peer reviewed academic papers, peer reviewed journal. Here we have peer reviewed. And so as you can see, now we're starting to pull up closer to what we want to find. But I do have to disclaim that anytime you find an article with this method, you want to make sure that peer reviewed, they are referring to the actual article you're trying to use. So let's click on this first one. And so Basically, what I'm telling you to do is that you just want to inquire and make sure that peer reviewed does pop up in reference to the article, as we can see it does right there. So we're good. And it's not a phrase where they're describing that this author has written peer reviewed articles, but not this one. That's rare, but you just want to make sure to do the little step of looking for peer reviewed making sure that it is indeed in the article. But this is going to get you to pretty close pulling back all peer reviewed sources in Google Scholar. Now, I do want to point out that if you didn't want to use the advanced search feature, you could use the Boolean operator exact phrase as you can see it populated here for us. And so I want to show you both ways. because I'm not sure how skilled you are with Boolean operators, but essentially it's how you talk to Google Scholar with, with different symbols associated with the keywords. That's how you'll tell Google Scholar what you're looking for. And the double quotation surrounding a keyword that tells Google Scholar that you're looking for an exact phrase match. So that's another way you could type this in. Now, the final way that I want to show you to find peer reviewed articles on Google Scholar. It's not a shortcut, but it is a last resort. Keep it in your pocket. And that is to search the name of the journal you find the article in to see if that is a journal that publishes peer reviewed articles. And so let's say this is the first example. You pull up this article. You don't see peer reviewed anywhere within it, but you really want to use the information that's in it, but you need it to be peer reviewed. So what you're going to do is use the name of the journal, which is Journal of Education Psychology. Perhaps you've never heard of this before. Go ahead and go to traditional Google and type that in to locate the original source that this came from. My little pro tip is to go ahead and use the exact phrase match Boolean operator here as well. So that way your searches are even more specific. And so now your job is just to inquire to see if this is a peer reviewed journal. And right here, before even clicking on anything, we can see that it is that the Journal of Education Psychology is a peer reviewed academic journal. Great. Let's look at another example. Let's say here is another article. We, we really want to use the information in it. Nowhere on here does it say peer reviewed. So what are you going to do? You're going to search the journal, which is in this case, Science Direct. So let's go back to Google and let's use our exact phrase match for science direct. 
it's going to bring me right here to the journal where that article is housed and look at that peer reviewed journal articles. So we've qualified both of those articles. We're good to go. Now I want to show you an example of an instance where it may not be peer reviewed. So once again, we really like this article. We see that it was published in ResearchGate. We're not sure exactly what ResearchGate is. So let's go back to Google or you can quite literally type in ResearchGate there, but I'm going to use Google. Pardon me. Here we go. All right. So here we go. ResearchGate. We click on this and we see that it it's this is a site all about research. It says discover research access over 135 million publication pages. Well, that kind of sounds like you'd find peer reviewed sources here, but nothing on here actually says peer reviewed. So what I recommend doing is go back to Google research gate and type in something such as is this a peer reviewed even peer reviewed journal simple as that ask google the question is research gate a peer reviewed journal and right away these are not peer reviewed by research gate so what does that mean it's that researchers facebook so research gate is a social media for research it's a a sort of researchers Facebook with an option to upload papers or reprints of papers that were published elsewhere. So basically what that tells you is that you might find a peer reviewed paper on ResearchGate, but ResearchGate itself is not enough to say that it's peer reviewed because there's a handful of different types of research papers coming in. Like I said, this is the last resort, but it's important you know how to search to figure out if they are peer reviewed or not, if that's what you need for your research papers. And we're back. All right, friends, I hope you found that tutorial on finding those peer reviewed articles in Google Scholar helpful. By the way, for those of you that did find it helpful and want to help support this channel, please know that you're welcome to buy the channel a coffee via YouTube. Thanks. There's a button next to the like button that says YouTube. Thanks. It's a great feature for supporting your favorite channels and videos you want to see more of. But regardless, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. Say hello as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.